And now for the latest edition of From the Mayor's Desk with Baytown Mayor Stephen Dunn Carlos. Good afternoon and welcome to another edition of From the Mayor's Desk. I'm Stephen Dunn Carlos, Mayor of Baytown. I'm glad to see you all. Hope you had a wonderful and blessed Christmas and New Year's and now we're ready to tackle 2015. A lot going on in the city as usual and I'll try to hit the high points for you very briefly. Uh, the first thing that council is going to be working on this spring is finding a new city manager for the city of Baytown. Bob Leeper, who's been our city manager for the last four years, is retiring. Bob has built a retirement home up in the College Station area and he's ready to uh, take a well-deserved rest. So we're going to miss Bob, uh, but we, he's going to help us in the transition uh, as we uh, look for a new city manager. Uh, we think that that search will probably take for the next uh, next three to four months. Hope to have somebody in place in uh, in April. Uh, we are uh, certainly going to miss Bob and Bob's leadership, but we are very confident that we're going to find the very very best person to be the next city manager for this city, and we're uh, we're going to do our best to make sure that that happens. Uh, around town, we are working closely with the uh, mall ownership on a redevelopment plan that they have presented to us. Uh, they are currently working with their uh, anchor stores to uh, get approval for their plans for the mall and the mall area. We are uh, guardedly optimistic that the uh, plan will come to fruition. We'll see some major changes on the corner of Garth and uh, Interstate 10. Hopefully uh, the next year or so uh, we continue to work with them uh, and to help them wherever that we can uh, in the mall area. Uh, we're going to be looking at uh, many projects that will be uh, underway or deep into the planning stages in 2015. Uh, we're working on an extension of Hunt Road all the way through to John Martin Road uh, from uh, east to west and we're looking for an extension from uh, San Jacinto Boulevard which runs next to the School Administration Building all the way from Interstate 10 down to uh, Hunt Road and eventually further south all the way to Bush Road. Uh, we think that building parallel streets to Garth Road will help us with congestion in that area uh, and also we're getting a great deal of commercial interest for development in that area. Uh, the developers uh, south of the mall are getting extremely active uh, in their projects and are wanting more room and more land to put more businesses in our city. It's a very good thing. It's a very good sign for the future of our city. Uh, you're also going to see very shortly the beginning of construction of the new Kroger's. Uh, marketplace on Garth Road uh, right next to the uh, Academy store. Uh, that's going to be a major construction project. Uh, it's going to involve the building of a new street to the west of Garth Road which will be San Tavi Alamo uh, Avenue uh, and it will be the south border of the new Kroger complex. There will also be an exit lane built on, uh, on uh, Garth Road to help facilitate getting traffic in and out of the new Kroger Center but it's going to be a great addition uh, they want to open the Kroger Center uh, in uh, late 2015, so they're really going to have to get after it to meet that, uh, meet that time frame. Uh, we are doing long-range planning on Garth Road. Uh, we are preliminarily looking at adding uh, another lane each direction on Garth Road, making it a six-lane thoroughfare, and putting in landscape medians on Garth Road to greatly improve the visibility and the, the appearance of that street. It is one of our major uh, entrances into our city and we want to dress it up a little bit. We like to take out those deep ditches on both sides uh, of the uh, of the roadway and to uh, again give uh, three lanes each direction. Uh, Garth Road's traffic certainly merits that and we'll uh, be looking at that in 2015 from an engineering standpoint seeing if that's a practical uh, thing that we can do to, to help. Um, you may have heard uh, the rumors that it does appear that we're going to get a Krispy Kreme Donuts. For all of you people who uh, can afford to eat donuts uh, weight-wise, I'm not one of you and I'm jealous of you, but uh, Krispy Kreme has announced that they're going to build a location in our city. Uh, they have not applied for a building permit yet, so I can't tell you exactly where they're going to land, but it does look like we're going to get a new uh, dining establishment in our city. Uh, finally, we've got uh, the uh, new uh, theater complex at uh, Interstate 10 and 146 is under uh, under construction. Uh, it's our understanding that they want to try to open that by the 4th of July, so they've got a very ambitious construction schedule. 
Uh, that will be a multiplex uh, movie theater with a bowling alley attached to it, uh, which we think is going to be a great addition to our uh, entertainment scene here in, in the Baytown area. So we're very much looking forward to, to those new businesses, as well as all of the other uh, businesses that are coming to the uh, Chambers Town Center at I-10 and 146. Uh, that's going to be a great new uh, addition to the retail uh, scene here in our city. Finally, uh, remember that it's uh, cold weather time of year. This week in particular, we've had a, a cold snap. I just wanted to remind you all to be very, very careful with your indoor heating. Uh, watch, your, watch your furnaces, make sure that they're checked out and in good shape. Uh, watch the ventilation for any indoor heaters that you have. Please make sure that you uh, operate them safely where we uh, we don't have to send the fire department to put out a fire. Uh, we want you to be very, very careful this time of year. Uh, so when you're taking care of your pets and plants, also take care of yourselves and make sure that your uh, furnaces and indoor heaters are very safe to operate. With that, I'll sign off for now and hope you have a wonderful, wonderful winter. Please stay warm and stay safe and to help take care of the city that we call home. Thanks very much.